Hey everybody, uh, what I wanted to walk uh, everyone through today was just uh, how to use the PolyInt Tracker to sequence core gadget on the iPad. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is just pick your instrument of choice. Here I'm going to pick, uh, pick Lexington. And um, what we can go ahead and do is within this little uh, MIDI input picker, we can go ahead and assign it to receive uh, MIDI from the tracker. And what we're going to select is channel 1 and then dismiss that. So now anything that I play over here on track one is going to show up over here. And the way that we set that up is um, within the Polyon Tracker. Uh, let's go ahead and pick uh, track one for instrument. Just press and hold, press the last uh, pad. And then what you're gonna do is scroll down to MIDI channel one. Now with it set to note, anything that you play over here will show up. And so what you can then do is you can, um, you know, pick your sound that you want. And play it that way. Uh, a few other cool things is that you can actually go into your uh, config view on the PolyN tracker. And what you can do is you can go over here and actually change your pad scale to any of the available uh, scales that you might want to play in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick Dorian. And what's really nice about that is that it will lock your pads to the Dorian scale. So you'll never hit a wrong note. Um, now what you do over here on Gadget is you keep adding instruments. You just go in here to the MIDI input, change it to the tracker, go back out to the available channels, assign it to channel two. Then you're going to go over here, go to track number two, press and hold the menu, uh, sorry, the instrument button, and then go down to uh, MIDI instrument two. So this is Milpitas. I always just hit random on it. So depending on how many instruments you want to set up within Chord Gadget, um, you would just basically go through this process for each instrument. Uh, one of the cool things about Gadget is that uh, with, uh, I forget which release it was, but they introduced this um, uh, ability to kind of program your drums in a live fashion uh, via this little control here. Uh, let's change the tempo. You know, setting the tempo is not exactly the best, but it, it works. And what's nice about this is that if I hit play, I can actually play my drums, pick a, a style or genre that I want to play in. So you have all these different uh, styles. You can increase the number of bars. Now if I hit record, got my drums recorded. Now if I wanted to add a filter to this, draw on my filter. So that's the basics of setting up Core Gadget with the PolyN Tracker. Again, just add your instrument, go and assign it to the tracker as the MIDI input. Specify the channel that you want, and then within the tracker, go to the track, tap on the instrument, select the MIDI channel, assign it to note. That's how you do it. Hope that helps.
Thanks for watching.